a 25 yard range as a healer? There is no way that'll be good in PvP. Today, we're going to preview preservation evokers in PvP by going over some of their key talents and abilities. And by the end of it, we hope to have a clearer picture on how this new spec will play out in the Dragonflight meta. But before we start, we're going to be pumping out content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and of course, Shadowlands in the upcoming months. So be sure to subscribe to stay ahead of the meta. First things first, let's go over some of their core abilities and how they might fit into Arena. First up, they are quite unusual as a healer since most of their spells have a maximum range of 25 yards. That's right, Evoker will only be able to heal teammates that are 25 yards or closer, but that doesn't mean they are completely screwed. In fact, their toolkit is perfect for close ranged healing and damage and comes equipped with multiple cooldowns to deal with burst damage. One mechanic unique to Evoker is Essences, which they can use to spend on big heals. These are similar to Death Knight runes and regenerate one every five seconds. In addition to Essence, Evokers also use mana like every other healer, which overall makes them similar to how Holy Paladins have mana and Holy Power. Hover is a big part of their toolkit. They will be a really mobile healer, able to cast while moving thanks to this spell. This ability gets even more powerful when you take Aerial Mastery, giving Hover a second charge. It doesn't stop there though. With the talent Extended Flight, Hover will last an additional 4 seconds. In terms of PvP, Evokers will find this ability beneficial for multiple reasons. The first is that this will help push in and out of the enemy team to get crowd control. If teams try to swap to you for pushing in, you can use it to dart behind a pillar and avoid incoming damage or crowd control. If they didn't already have enough mobility by being able to fly around the arena, they also have Rescue. This mistwalk type ability lets you fly to an ally and instantly heal them. Essences get consumed to use powerful spells, Emerald Blossom. This ability consumes three essences and grows a bulb under a teammate. After two seconds, it will do AoE healing to everyone in a 10 yard range. Now that we have an idea of how they might heal, let's take a look at some of their unique cooldowns. First up, remember this trinket? Evokers have it as a PvP talent. Yes, it's called Nullifying Shroud, and with a 1.5 minute cooldown, it will make them immune to the next 3 CCs, which you already know is pretty good, but they will need this additional CC immunity since most of their spells have such a short range. Time Dilation is next on our list. This talent lets you put a buff on your ally that makes 50% of the damage they take be converted to a damage over time effect instead. This ability only has a 1 minute cooldown and is pretty much 50% damage reduction that you can use on anyone on your team. Ideally you'd use this on you or your partner before getting put into crowd control. Any spec with self healing will be able to heal through the debuff this ability gives you. This cooldown will line up with many other 1 minute burst cooldowns the DPS specs have, making it incredibly efficient. Speaking of short cooldowns, another 1 minute CD exclusive to preservation evokers is dream flight similar to devastation's deep breath this spell does aoe healing to all allies within its effect this allows you to instantly heal teammates but it's probably more useful for repositioning to avoid incoming enemy crowd control with its cc immunity adding to their short cooldowns is fly with me which they can use to reposition an ally while also giving them a temporary shield with a talent or it can also be used to grief in case you don't like the jerk leading your lfg rbg group in eye of the storm results might vary Preservation Evokers seem to be the king of short cooldowns, as they have another incredibly strong 90 second CD called Stasis. This talent is deep in the preservation tree. It can be activated to capture the next three helpful spells that you cast, and when reactivated, Stasis will instantly use the exact three spells you just cast on the same targets, acting like a nature's swiftness big heal. And finally, let's cover their longest cooldown spells that can be used in Arena Rewind. This is an incredible raid wide CD that literally rewinds 50% of all damage taken by your team in the last 5 seconds. With an astonishing 4 minute cooldown, this should be used as a last resort when your team is falling behind or when you need a large heal when kicks are available. In theory, this ability should be able to heal through dampening and might be an incredibly valuable tool for resetting teamfights in RBGs. Of course, Evoker comes with some personal defensives, so let's cover those too. The first spell is Obsidian Scales. This takes advantage of their dragon bodies, increasing your armor and reducing magic damage for 12 seconds. With an additional talent, the cooldown of Obsidian Scales gets lowered to a minute and a half, and with a PvP talent, it grants interrupt immunity. Next up, a passive. A fourth player enters the arena as Evoker gets some help from alternate selves with the time of need cooldown. When you or a teammate drops below 20%, a second version of yourself heals the target and will continue to heal for 8 seconds after. This can be a crucial defensive for when you are stuck in a stun or crowd control and a teammate is dropping low. Maybe you can sit long blind slash sap chains with this spell. 
Finally, move aside Zandalari Troll Racial. There's a new channeled heal in town, and that ability is called Emerald Communion. With a long 3 minute cooldown, this spell restores both 100% health and 10% mana to the evoker. An important note about this spell is that it can be used while stunned, fear, or silence, and could even be combined with the aura mastery effect from their wall. This will make evokers extremely difficult to kill and hard for them to run out of mana. Enough about defensive spells, what about the utility? Utility is important for every healer. Without it, you can't enable your team to kill an enemy. The first utility spell evokers have is a ranged kick. That's right, evokers will be one of the few healers with an interrupt, and once again this will probably be needed, considering that their toolkit is entirely designed around being in close quarters, just like resto shamans who, by no surprise, also have an interrupt. Evoker comes equipped with a baseline poison dispel on an 8 second cooldown, combined with a longer dispel that removes bleeds, poisons, curses, and diseases. This makes it the only healer that can dispel all debuff types. Cauterizing Flame is essentially a mending bandage. This will be an incredibly strong cooldown into all specs that rely on dots and bleeds to get pressure, such as Feral Druids and Affliction Warlocks. Preservation evokers aren't all healing and defensive spells, they also have some potential burst output. One talent that sticks out is Scarlet Adaptation. With this talent, you can store a percentage of your healing done. The next living flame you use for damage will release this healing as damage. This will help your team kill enemies who might be at low health. Damage and interrupts are important, but what about crowd control? Well, of course evokers have that. They have crowd control in the form of sleepwalk. This seduce-like ability is on the in-cap DR with a 15 second cooldown. This will work well with many classes, such as rogue, warrior, and warlocks. This has a 1.5 second cast time, so it will require some setup, but it does not break instantly on damage. So, TLDR, Preservation is by far the most unique healer World of Warcraft has ever seen. It seems to be a hybrid between Mistweaver Monk and Resto Shaman, pairing strong mobility and healing while moving with tons of short, efficient cooldowns and utility. It still isn't known which comp will be able to utilize Preservation's toolkit, but since it has an incapacitate and the ability to increase the duration of crowd control, you already know it might work well with setup classes like Rogues. But we want to know what you think, based on what you've seen so far. What comps do you expect to see Preservation of Ochres playing? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, please consider subscribing. We will be uploading tons of new content for Dragonflight, Wrath Classic, and Shadowlands in the next few months. And we want to make sure you stay ahead of the meta. As always though, we want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.